Once you have added items to the cart, click on the checkout button to go to the full cart screen. From this screen you can either save the contents of the cart as a quote, cancel the cart which removes all items from the cart, or order which submits the contents of the cart as an order to your local store. If items in your cart came from a vehicle application lookup, the description field will default to the last application lookup. Otherwise, it will be blank. This field can be edited to contain a message, which will be transmitted to the store with your order. The order type allows you to identify orders that are urgent. This information is transmitted to the store. Work with your local store to determine how this will affect your delivery. The PO number field can be used to transmit a purchase order number to the store for this order. The comment box can be used to enter comments that help you identify this order in the future. Comments are not transmitted to the store with your order. Any item in your cart can be removed by clicking on the red X to the right of the item. Clicking the two green arrows to the right will bring you back to the parts display where you can change the quantity and re-add the item to the cart. When you save the contents of the cart, it becomes a quote. Quotes can be retrieved by clicking the quotes button at the top of the screen. This will display a list of quotes. From here you can either delete a quote by clicking on the red X or open the quote by clicking on a quote number. Opening a quote brings all of its contents into the cart. Once the quote is loaded into the cart, items can be changed, added, or deleted if necessary. Before you order from a quote, you have to recheck the quote to ensure the product is still available and the price has not changed. Once this is done, the contents of the cart can be ordered. The Orders button displays a list of orders placed from My Place for Parts. Clicking on the reference number will display the items contained in that order.